Hi guys, hey, uh, I wanted to show you how I test a generator armature here on my growler. Uh, this is an armature off a early Ford Model A generator, you know, 2930 Type 1. Uh, I do three tests here. Uh, first, I do a ground test, and then I'm going to do a short test, and then I'm going to check for opens. So, first I'm going to do the ground test, and this could be done with a multimeter also, but I'll put it to the ground position, and all of this, it gives me a test light. I put the leads together, the light comes on. So what I'm going to do here is I want to check to make sure that the windings aren't grounded to the frame of the armature. So I'm going to put one lead here on the on the armature shaft and take the other one and just walk it around all the commutator bars. The light does not come on. That tells me it's good, that it's not grounded to the frame. So I go all the way around and the light does not come on. Again, if I if I touch the frame, Touch that, it does come on. So that tells me that uh, that the windings are not grounded. So the second test I'm going to do is going to do the short test. And this is the one that you may be familiar with. And this is taking a, a hacksaw blade. I'm going to turn the growler on. It's going to run a large electromagnetic magnetic uh, magnet through it. And it's going to put a, a magnetic field through the through the armature. And if it's shorted, if or I'm sure if, if it is shorted, uh, what's going to happen is you'd see the the blade vibrating uh, on the armature and if it's not if it's good then it won't take any action so it's a little bit loud here but I'm gonna turn this on I'll show you how I do this so So it passed the short test. So that's uh, that, that's that's a good sign. Now the last test I do is um, is a check for opens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the turn the arm the growler on, and I'm going to take two probes and I'm going to touch them to adjacent commutator bars. And I'm going to rotate around and keep touching it to adjacent commutator bars all the way around it. And what I'm looking for is here over in the meter. I'm looking for uh, a little bit of voltage, about two volts, and that just shows me that each winding is producing some voltage here. So to make this a little easier, instead of having to hold two of these and turn the armature, I only have two hands. So I took a uh, an old lamp cord here, I ground the bent the tips in and ground them kind of to a point, and then I've got uh, just a little connectors here. I can slip this in like that, and then I can just use this to hold two adjacent. Uh, hold it up against two adjacent bars while I'm doing this. So uh, I'll show you. I'm not going to do all of them here, but I'll just show you how a few of this, how we do it. So I'm going to turn it to lower volts. And I'm going to, you know, you can see the ammeter or not here, but I'm going to hold it to down here on the side where the field is the strongest. And I'm getting about, you know, about three volts there. I'm going to move it and then just touch it to each adjacent pair of commutator bars and make sure that I'm generating voltage. I get about three volts on each pair. Alright. So that's good. That's what I want to see. Now I've already done this. Okay, so I've already tested the entire armature and it's good. So that's the three tests that I do here on the growler. Uh, and and that gives me a thorough, a pretty thorough check of it. Uh, there's, you never know 100% for sure if an armature is good because uh, there can be what's known as a flying short where it may test fine on the on the growler and one testing everything, but when it's running and spinning at 1500 RPM, if the wires shift a little bit, something could short. Uh, it's pretty rare, but it's called a flying short and it can happen. But now that I've tested it, I know, I mean, it's passed all my tests. So the next step is going to be is going to put it in the lathe and I'm going to true the commutator. It's a little bit worn. I can feel about five thousandths of ridge on the edge here. So I'm going to put in the lathe and I'll true the commutator. And then if necessary, I'll undercut the mic. I've got a machine that cuts these slots down. They, those slots should be about 30,000 below the surface of the commutator. These look pretty good, so I probably won't have to recut them because I'm only going to take maybe five thousandths off of the commutator. I take very little off. And once the commutator's all cleaned up and everything, then I'll, I'll just degrease the whole the whole armature. I'll mask it off, 
and then I'll coat all the windings in Glyptol to seal them, and then it'll be uh, be ready to go. So, hey, I hope you found that helpful. If you liked the video, uh, please like it and subscribe to my channel, and I'll have more things coming out soon. Thanks. Bye.